Filipino revolutionary Jose Rizal once said, no history, no self. No history, no self. Kuya, why are we so dark? In the Filipino language Tagalog, Kuya means older brother, and this was a question I often asked him. It was difficult being proud of my brown skin when all I knew was the fair complexion of my Barbie dolls resembled beauty, and I resembled the other. But my mother always called me beautiful, like the heroine in Dr. Jose Rizal's novel, Maria Clara. She captured the elegance and charms of the Mestiza Filipina, as well as the gallantry and boldness of the Mestizo Filipino. Courtship, love, and flirtation are all evident in this suite of romantic dances. I envision myself waltzing in these gorgeous long dresses, feeling like the princess my father always said I was. Knowing that I can become empowered in my culture made me stronger and who I am today. I realized I should not be ashamed of the darker pigmentation and the extra melanin in my skin. Acknowledging this fact made me tougher mentally, emotionally, and physically. Strong, just like the people of the mountain suite. Hidden in the mountainous regions of central Luzon live many tribes collectively known as the Igorots. Once known to be vicious headhunters, these tribes have kept many of the ancient pagan celebrations and rituals. Whether it be for victory in war, courtship, or worship, dance and music play an integral part of their lifestyles in these mountain people. They stood their ground, showing people of color, women, and children have strength. This dance has taught me that I am a Filipino warrior because I fight for my rights, my beliefs, and my people. Strength and beauty, qualities a Filipino learns at a young age. The Filipino flag consists of the sun and three stars. The golden sun with eight rays symbolizes unity, freedom, people's democracy, and sovereignty. Each of the eight rays represent one of the eight provinces that started in the 1896 Filipino revolution against Spain. Three five-pointed stars, one for each of the triangle's points, stand for the three major islands where the revolution started. The southern islands of the Philippines are wondrous and serene. The dances of these islands are graceful, flowing, and fluid, much like the ocean that surrounds them. The spectacle of colorful and intricate attire and the mesmerizing sounds of the Kulitang Ensemble easily make these dances the most exotic of all Philippine dances. Because of this suite, the word Moro and the word exotic to me is a term of endearment. I am being compared to the picturesque allure of nature, the tranquil movements of water, swift courses of air, and fresh breath of life. Know your roots, love your roots. The Philippine countryside is a land bestowed with endless beauty. It is thought of by many as the true Philippines. Small wonder why the dances of the ritual farmers that inhibit these areas are the most famous of all Filipino dances. After a hard day's work, the rural people gather in their burials and they would perform many impromptu and lively dances as a form of relaxation. These dances personify the many joys of work, of the surroundings, and of the people of the simple countryside. Just like the dance exemplifies happiness, I'm happy and damn proud to be Filipina. Life is not about finding yourself. It is about creating yourself. Because I know my roots and culture, I am confident in my identity. I don't know what life brings me, but I do know. I am Filipina.